So Shelby and I met at a pre-New Year's get-together. I walked into the room and uh, all the couches were kind of like pushed close together and there's a group uh, sitting around a table. You know, lo and behold, there was a spot on the floor next to Shelby and, and the guy pursuit sort of way. I was like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit by this girl. From a very early time in the night, I, I knew that, wow, this girl's you know, pretty special and I want to get to know her. The night, you know, kind of came to an end and I was a little bummed that, you know, I, I didn't get to talk to this girl more. And the next day, you know, I found her on Facebook, you know, I was just smitten by her. I had never done this before, but I asked her out over Facebook. A, an hour or two later, I got a response back that she said no. Rightfully so, she'd already um, committed to going on a, on a date with another guy. And I still distinctly remember sitting, you know, at lunch with my dad when I read that email and, and, and knowing, okay, well, you know, this sucks, but it's okay. I definitely felt God's presence in him just hugging me and saying, you know, there's something, there's something special for you out there. He knew the, the greater plan and he knew that it was still gonna be her. But about two weeks later, John gives me a call and says, hey, you wanna go dancing? Instantly I'm asking, okay, well, what girls are there? And he's like, oh, Shelby's there. And does she think I'm weird though? I kind of asked that question. And he's like, no, she thinks you're really cool. Um, let's all get together. And so I was like, okay, you know, you know I'm, I'm bold enough, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and go hang out with them. From the from the get-go, Shelby and I, you know, started talking and, you know, that night I think we had to dance to over 10 songs together and we'd walk onto the dance floor, dance, come off and talk, go back onto the dance floor, dance, come off and talk, and really paid minimal attention to anybody else in that group. That night I asked her again, I said, you know, you know I'm going to try this one more time, you know, do you, do you want to go out with me sometime? And she had said yes. Um, Two days later, we went on our first date, the most in-depth first date I'd ever had. And we, we talked about you know, our ambitions and what we wanted to do. We talked about my job and her at school and her upbringing and my upbringing and our theological views of Christ. Everything that she said, I was, I was eating it up and I was just like, this girl's incredible. I don't know where this is going, but you know, I, I've, I've got to continue to get to know her because she is special. Our dating relationship progressed very, very quickly to, you know, being just like, hey, we're talking and going on dates to, hey, we're, we're together and we're dating. And, and I think that was, that was God's intention of it too, because, you know, I think we were both in a phase in life where we saw how much we liked each other and we wanted that commitment to each other. And uh, we want to center it around Christ and, you know, in her grace and her patience and her supportiveness and the way she builds me up. and you know, allows me to lead, but also, you know, in the way that she, you know, is is a partner and the one that God had planned for me from, from the very beginning. He had this perfect plan in mind and this perfect picture of who Shelby was going to be for me and who, who she has become. God, just thank you for this incredible girl. Just thank you for everything that she is to my life. Just thank you for the um, warmth she brings from her presence, from the um, happiness and joy she brings to you know anybody that she's around. God, I'm so so unworthy to be even acquainted with a daughter of yours like this, God, and that that you would even give me a chance to have this girl trust trust in me for the rest of her life would be just a task that I would not want to fail at, a task that you know, I would want to succeed and lead. I would want to lead this girl as best I could, God. And mm. it's everything that Shelby is is just so incredible. And she makes every day waking up more, more exciting and more fun and wondering when our next adventure is going to be, mm. God. And, oh, I know there's a journey ahead and there's an adventure ahead and I want it to be with nobody else but this girl. Continue to bless our future. Continue to bless this next step that we're about to take. And God, just protect our family and friends and um, help them keep us accountable and um, help us to show them the same kind of love that they show us on a consistent basis, God. Yeah. Will you marry me? <laughs>
Drive around town on two hands And you need to know 